Dick B's Daily Vlogs. Something different today other than a mural. It's more of a little DJI Osmo hack. I'm back here at the Conservatory of Flowers to give you an update on a little hack that I did when it comes to the mic adapter. Let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Might sound a little different today because I'm not using the Ceramonic mic like I have been in the past couple weeks. Found this adapter that Amazon's selling for like eight bucks where you can put any microphone on the side of the Giasmo pocket. I was gonna purchase it, but then I realized I have this adapter right now. It's a GoPro mount that I can use. And I do have the hot shoe that I can use to put the mic, you know, to the side. So I, I glued it together and now I'm using the Rode Video Micro on the DJI Osmo Pocket. And we're here back at the Conservatory of Flowers because the last time I was here with the DJI Osmo Pocket it was really windy. So today it's windy again. And we're going to check the sound quality of the DJI Osmo Pocket with the Rode Video Micro. So let's go. Let's go. Again, last time I was here, I was walking around with this DJI Osmo Pocket and with the wind the way it was, couldn't really hear. I mean, the, there was a lot of wind noise. I did, at the time, bought the Ceramonic mic, but I didn't have the wind muff. Now, the past couple of vlogs I've done when it came to murals, paintings, there was a wind muff involved, but the wind muff would also cut the sound when it came to wind noise. So we're here to test it out. You see the flowers already peaking today, which is pretty good. It's a cold, not cold, it's a nice breezy day here in the park here in San Francisco. A lot of people hanging out. Sun is out. Breezy. Sun's out. Now, when I was using the DJI, the Ceramonic mic, you heard a lot of background noise. So you probably would have heard those skaters coming from a distance. Here, I got the mic faced me. So you'll still hear noise, but not as much because this Rode Video Micro is actually a really good mic. When I had it on my Lumix, couldn't really hear a lot of the background noise, but we'll see again in post how this sounds. These guys are just going crazy, crazy. But again, last time I was here, it was really breezy. It was really windy. And again, it is breezy here in the city. Sun's out. That's the only difference. Um, so just decided to come out here and test the sound quality when it comes to the wind noise. So hopefully there's no wind noise today. Last time when it came out this way, there was a guy in here who was playing like the bassoon and he was playing it pretty loud. Doesn't look like anyone's in here today. Came over here to check out the echoes, the graffiti, the little artwork. The very first time I was here, there was creepy face painted on the wall. I don't see it. No, it's not that face right there. There's a creepier face, but it looks like it's been erased from existence. But the drawings are still there. Pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Look at it. It's Jeffrey the giraffe. Is that what that is? I can't tell. There's more on this side as well. Now again, all I did was I took the I took the little adapter. It's a little GoPro mount adapter and I put it on the side. I took a little hot shoe that I had. I glued it onto the side of the little hot the little mount that 
came with the DJI Osmo Pocket when you bought it. And I got the road mic sitting. You can't see it. It's off, off a frame, which is pretty cool. But the noise quality should be a lot better. The wind noise should definitely be a lot better. But again, I won't be able to tell till later. I walked towards the other side of the bridge that I was at because there's another bridge down here. If you can see down there, it's been closed off. You got the tennis courts right over there in the distance. Then down this little path, this creepy looking path, as you can see, it's supposed to be, well, there is, not supposed to be. There's a tunnel that goes to the bottom, to the other side, to the tennis courts, but it looks like it's been closed. And I think this is as close as I'll get, because I want to go home and eat pizza tonight. So I don't think I'm going to get any closer than that. The wildflowers that just grows here in the park is pretty cool, because you see the blue right here. I'm not sure what flowers or what kind of plant life this is, but if you look all green, all green, all green, all green, and then you got a hint of blue right here. That's pretty cool how they just sprout out of everywhere and anywhere. But all these weeds, these high grass, makes a good hiding place for rodents, mice, raccoons, maybe even a coyote. So I'm making my way back across the conservatory flowers. I was walking back towards the tunnel over there and I looked at this rock and this tree stump and inside there is some clothes but it could be other things inside there that I am not going to be adventurous and start looking. But these rocks are pretty cool. Golden Gate Park houses a lot of San Francisco's homeless and I know there is a park ranger that comes in here in this area during the night and scoots the homeless out of the way. But again, you don't know what's hiding in these bushes. And look at these. There's a stairwell that goes up that way. Pretty cool. Nope, not going up there. From here, you can see the conservatory flowers from where I'm standing. And again, I came through that tunnel and I'm going to go through that tunnel again. Before going over, you can see the construction of the bridge and the old architectural work that they've done, or that was done. You can see the design right there and how the arch just goes over. And if you go through Golden Gate Park and you look at these old little cement bridges, you'll see a lot of the same design architectural like right there, right there on that little podium right there. And the same thing on the plant, the plants are right there. They have that same design. The one over here on the left, you can't really see it because the light's not shining on it, but there's a planter right above that as well. But the design and the artwork, pretty cool, pretty cool. Now I came here because I had the assumption it was gonna be windy and breezy because the last time I was here it was. And I'm catching some breeze, some wind, but not a whole lot. I'm going to go stand up there because those palm trees are swaying. So I'm going to go stand up there and go see how that is. Made my way to the top of the stairwell. Looks like they're doing some, some work on that side of the conservatory. It is a little more breezy up here. So road video micro is really good when it comes to wind cancellation and the wind noise. I'm almost certain you're not hearing anything. I'm pretty sure you're not hearing anything. But wanted to test it out. Wanted to see what it was like. See how it is. Now don't get me wrong. The Ceremonic mic is a really good mic. For the price of $30 on Amazon. It's really good. I had to pay an extra $15 to get the wind muff. Now if I'm going around like indoors. And I'm doing an indoor vlog. Then that's the perfect mic to use when you're going around walking around that's pretty good I got a big wind gust coming right now so we're gonna test it out right here but yeah so for I'm going indoors walking around 
indoor malls, maybe even like conventions, that's the perfect mic to use. But outdoors, it was good if it wasn't windy. That was the downfall. So I was fortunate enough these past couple days that it wasn't that windy, but you seen or heard some of the vlogs that I did in the past where it was really windy. So that's the only difference, but I would, I am still going to use this harmonic mic. Don't get me wrong. But the way this is, I did say that I wanted to use this and be less incognito, but this is very, you can tell I'm, I'm vlogging. You can tell I have a camera in my hand. You can tell there's a mic sticking out, but guess what? Sound quality is important when it comes to vlogging. So this is the best way to do it. Best way to do it right now. I walk by this light right here and for you Avengers fan, doesn't that kind of remind you of Tony Stark's reactor? Like his first one that was on his chest? Doesn't that what it reminds you of? But it's just, it's just a light in the ground. This is that corner of, or this part of the conservatory where you can hear crickets and frogs. And again, I don't know if they're inside the building or just along that area, but you can definitely hear them. I have the mic towards me, so you probably don't hear them right now. With a ceremonic mic, you did hear them. But I'm gonna go down here because there's a bunch of guys playing music. And last time I was here, they were pretty cool on letting me record them. So I'm gonna head back down that way. Alright guys, that's going to do it. Just a quick update on this DJI Osmo Pocket. I was having fun doing a lot of the murals. Trust me, I enjoyed them. But today, I said, you know what, let's change it up a little bit. You know, mural week was over a couple weeks ago. Let's try something different. Let's talk about the update of this mic. I was always, always wanting to use the Rode Video Micro again, but when I first got this, this is more a incognito type camera it's the type of camera that i just didn't want to put out and let everybody know so the ceremonic mic was the perfect mic for that but then the sound quality of the ceremonic mic trust me it's good i like it i like the sound quality of the ceremonic mic but when it came to windy days and outdoors it wasn't the mic it wasn't the one you wanted it wasn't the thing you know you want to bring with you but now with me being able to use my road mic it sort of makes a big difference so Outdoor vlogs, I'm gonna start using the Rode video mic, micro, micro, it's the one I have, video micro. Indoor vlogs, when I'm doing insides, I'm gonna use the ceramic mic. So I'm still gonna use it, still gonna keep it. Is it worth it? Yes, it is worth it, but you do gotta spend that extra $15 to get the wind muff, which is worth it if that's what you wanna use it for. Outdoors, windy days, like today, this is what I'm gonna use, the Rode video micro. Indoors, conventions, the ceremonic mic just a quick update give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm gonna go home and have some pizza enjoy game five of of a basketball game the warriors thanks for watching guys here from the conservatory of flowers in golden gate park my favorite park vlogs ended guys thanks for watching go in peace Nice warm days here in the city. Everybody comes out, pays respects, and enjoys the weather. Pretty cool. I made this.